Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming here. Um, I, I will start with an apology, which is not a great way to do an introduction or any kind of beginning to anything, but I am scheduled to do my talk downstairs in 10 minutes. So I'm going to introduce my colleague and friend, Dr. Dimitri Kopak, and then uh, I have to leave right away. So please don't interpret my leaving as a lack of interest in the topic. I just have to uh, go in and do my talk. Um, but it's, it gives me great pleasure and honor to introduce Dr. Kopak. I've known him for a number of years. He is, the, he is a psychiatrist and a psychotherapist, and he is the president of the Russian Association of Cognitive Behavior Psychotherapy. He has, he, along with his wife Alice, who is in the room with us, have worked tirelessly to develop the CBT Association across Russia and has been just a very strong advocate uh, and a great proponent of CBT. So CBT has, bro has grown widely uh, across Russia and also Central Asia and the surrounding com countries because of the efforts that he has made. Um, he also uh, obviously is a clinician and it's uh, a really interesting topic that he brings uh, today, I got, got a chance to talk with him about it earlier because we knew that I wasn't going to be able to, uh, to stay. But the idea of identifying a person's needs, the biological, the psychological, and the sociological needs, and using a cognitive conceptualization from the Beck model, both the problem-based and the strength-based, is um, bringing together both the Beck model and a standard kind of concept of a biopsychosocial model that we use within the mental health field. So he's bringing those two ideas together to talk about those and present those to you today. And so it gives me a great pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Dimitri Tolsa. Thank you so much. Yeah. 